So in this little tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take an image like this and actually create some realistic looking text on the floor. Let's get started. So let's start off with our image. Now, in terms of what image you should choose, it's got to be somewhere that you would realistically expect some sort of text or sign to actually appear. There's no point necessarily writing it in the sky. So this is why roads, pathways, things like that are, are really, really good. So this is kind of why I've chosen this image. So first off, we need to create a new layer to put our text on. So that's really, really simple. In Photoshop, we're just going to go up to Layer, New, and Layer. So we'll just call this layer text for now, because this is where our text is going to be. Now we need to add our text. So we're going to use the text tool on the vertical toolbar. And we're going to draw out the area for where our word is going to go. I think what we'll do, we're going to centralize it. We're also going to change the color of the text. We're going to make that white. And I think based upon our image, we're going to write the word beach. I think we'll actually, we'll do it all in capitals. So it's maybe just a bit of a cute little sign just to alert people exactly where they are. Not as if they wouldn't know with a <laughs> photograph like that. Um, again, it's also worth making sure you get the right type of text. Look at kind of the types of fonts that people use or even do a little bit of research as to what fonts are used for uh, kind of road paving signs and things like that. So just for the matter of this tutorial, I'm going to make it nice and bold, make it nice and big, and we'll keep it there. Okay, so once you've written your word, it's now a case of actually changing the, changing the perspective of this word to actually match the perspective of the photograph, because it looks fantastic here with it all being nice and flat, but it actually needs to lie down maybe a little bit lower to follow that same point of view um, as the photograph underneath. So firstly, to do that, to make sure we can actually distort the uh, layer correctly, we're actually going to rasterize our text layer. So if you right click on that layer and go up to rasterize type, now we can go up to our edit option in our menu bar, come down to transform, and then come down to distort. So it's going to give us this boundary box around the uh, word here. And simply by holding down the uh, control key on the keyboard, we're going to use this corner anchor and we're going to push it down. Now this takes a little bit of getting used to if you've not used anything like this before. So just take it slowly, just move it point by point. It's generally the corner the corner points that you're actually going to be using and again normally the top ones but that just depends on the perspective of your image and which angle it is so we're going to push it down and basically make it look like now the text is effectively lying down now we can put our mouse in the center and just move it around a little bit more but ultimately we're just trying to get the perspective right so it looks like it's actually been written on the floor so i think we're we're pretty good there okay so the next step is now to actually uh, ingrain it effectively into the path here because it looks lovely neat and clean but that's not always the case you get people walking over it it was after a while so this kind of white color tends to go a little bit gray after a while so we can find our layer styles by double clicking on our text layer now we're going to be using this slider at the very bottom here this one that says underlying layer because what we're going to try and do now basically tell Photoshop that the, um, the elements on the layer above us we want to kind of blend in, which ones we want to lose. So you'll see how the effect actually works. So by using this underlying layer slider, we're going to start from the dark end and we're just going to move this layer. Again, it's just incrementally, very, very slowly, but you see how it starts to break up that white and then the darker aspects from that um, original photograph are starting to shine through, but it makes it look a little bit more worn. Now you may want a little bit less of that, you may want more of that, it really depends obviously to, to, to the degree of the effect that you're looking for. But I quite like having it about there. Maybe move it a little bit closer in there. But ultimately once you're happy, just press OK. Now you can take it a little bit further if you think it looks a little bit polished still, you can just reduce the opacity of this ever so slightly, maybe to around about 60% or so. But there we go. We've created our word. We can still move it around in the frame a little bit more, but you can see it already. It carries the grain of the tarmac underneath. It has the clear wordings. It sits nicely. The perspective matches the photograph. Again, really, really cool little way of being able to add realistic text into your photograph. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Keep looking out for iPhotography for more. Thanks for watching.